Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna take a look at the Samsung Galaxy S23 FE. Now you can pick this one up online. I'll throw the link up in the description. The price on this one starts at 600 bucks. I repeat, 600 bucks. Now let me say this. I know Samsung is not calling this the fan edition anymore. It's just FE. But this is one phone that I gotta say is truly a fan edition. What is a fan edition? All of the bells and whistles that you're gonna find on your flagship Galaxy phone for half the price. And this is it. This is a true fan edition. First up, let's go through the specs real quick. Now this one comes in a bunch of different colors. You got mint, cream, graphite, purple, indigo, and tangerine. Bunch of nice zesty colors. For the display, you got a 6.4 inch AMOLED panel with a resolution of 1080 by 2340. Now that's 403 for the PPI Patrol. The phone is IP68, dust and water resistant. You got Gorilla Glass 5 on the front and on the back for protection with an aluminum frame. It goes up to 1450 nits brightness and a 120 hertz refresh rate. Apple, pay attention. For the processor, you got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Generation 1 with the Adreno 730 GPU. Now what does that mean in English? Flagship specs, bro, flagship specs. Now you got eight gigs of RAM, 128 or 256 gigs of storage, no micro SD card slot for expandable memory. Now it's running Android 13 with Samsung One UI 5.1 skin on top. You got a 4,500 milliamp battery that features 25 watt fast charge. You also got wireless charge and reverse wireless charge. For the cameras, on the rear you got a triple setup. So you got a 50 megapixel wide angle, eight megapixel telephoto, and a 12 megapixel ultra wide angle. Now you can shoot video at 8K 24 frames per second or 4K 60 frames per second. On the front, you got a 10 megapixel wide angle lens and you can shoot 4K video at 60 frames per second. Now you got dual stereo speakers, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, NFC, always on display, face unlock, on-screen fingerprint sensor, and Samsung DeX. All of that for 600 bucks. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. White shoes. shoes, calm down. All right, this is my first day back from vacation. Did y'all miss me? Hit me up in the comments and let me know. <laughs> if not, let's get this show started. All right, Samsung Galaxy S23 FE. Now I'm an old school dude. I'm calling this the fan edition because this is what the fans want. All of the bells and whistles without that main, main bell and whistle that we don't want, the price. That's the price that, that's the, the main bell and whistle that we don't want is a high price. This is a fan edition. Okay, now as far as the presentation, <laughs> it is what it is. Pretty trash, but 600 bucks, I really can't complain. I shoes, calm down. Shoes is happy to see me. You're gonna get your USB Type-C charging cable. I shoes, inspect that for quality. SIM ejection tool, and that's pretty much it. Now we went with the purple on this one. <laughs> okay, check this out. I use this on vacation, all right, for a full week straight. This is a flagship phone, totally. Now I know what y'all gonna say. What's the difference between the Fan Edition and the S23 Plus? Let's break it down real quick. The biggest difference that you're gonna notice is the price, 600 bucks versus 900 bucks. I would highly recommend buying the Fan Edition, all right, or we'll just say the FE over the S23 Plus, take that extra 300 bucks and buy a Galaxy Watch, okay? Here's the differences. First of all, the price, okay, $300. That's pretty big, that's pretty big. Next, the build quality. This is Gorilla Glass uh, 5 versus Gorilla Glass Victus 2. So you're getting a little bit more protection. Now, is that worth 300 bucks? I would say no, I would say no. Next, display size, okay, 6.4 inches versus 6.6 .6 inches. Now, in the real world, look at this. They pretty much look exactly the same. Okay, the displays pretty much look the same size. Okay, so the, technically, I, the display is a little bit bigger on the S23 Plus. Next, brightness, okay, 1,450 nits versus 1,750 nits. Okay, so the S23 Plus, a little bit brighter. Now, here's the biggest difference, the processor. You got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Generation 1 versus the 8 Generation 2. Now, how does that translate in the real world? Okay, you're not really gonna notice too much difference. Better battery life though, with the processor. 
Next, storage. Now with the FE, it only goes up to 256. With the S23 Plus, you can go all up to 512. Next, the cameras, okay? There's a big difference with the cameras. Not too big, but it's kind of a big difference. With the S23 FE, you got 50, 8, and 12, okay? With 10 on the front. With the S23 Plus, you got 50, 10, and 12, and 12 on the front. So slightly better cameras. And of course, battery. With the FE, 4,500 milliamps with 25 watt fast charge versus 4,700 milliamps with 45 watt fast charge. So slightly bigger battery with slightly faster charging speeds. But like I said, in the real world, both of these phones pretty much feel and perform the same. Okay, so I would say, Pass, uh, and Samsung is pretty gangster for doing this, <laughs> okay? If they would have brought these these phones out at the same time, nobody would have bought the S23 Plus. Everybody would have went for the F, for the FE. Unless you wanted something smaller, then you're gonna go with the regular S23, or if you want the big boy, then you're gonna go with the Galactus 2.0. Not to mention, if you wanna save a couple of dollars, yeah, go with the A54. This is, this is where I kinda draw the line. After the A54, all of those A23s and everything under that, those are pretty much budget phones, okay? This is what, this is the starting line right here, the A54. This is a great phone, but I would say if you plan on keeping a phone for more than one year, go with the FE. This is a certified beast. Now, I know a lot of y'all think when I do these reviews, I just use the phone for a couple of minutes, <laughs> then do my review. Not the case, all right? This phone right here, I took it on vacation. Let me show you something real quick. When you go to gallery, all right, when you go to gallery, you see I had this in in Hawaii, okay, taking all my Hawaii photos. I'm gonna show them to y'all in a minute. This phone right here, this is a Google Pixel 8 killer. This is an iPhone 15 Plus killer. 600 bucks, this is a total win. All right, so let me pause the video, delete my browsing history, and then we'll walk through the OS. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now, before we check out this phone, I know somebody's gonna ask, what's the purpose of this phone? Okay, you already got all of these S23s. Why bring out the S23 FE? The simple answer is choices, okay? I'm never gonna get mad at a company for giving us more choices. You got a bunch of different phones for everybody and everybody's price range. This right here, for 600 bucks, this is a steal, okay? This is a certified flagship phone for 600 bucks. Trust me when I tell you. Let's talk about the build quality. Gorilla Glass Victus on the front and on the back, aluminum frame, and it's IP68 dust and water resistant. This phone is built like a tank, and it also has that premium feel to it. Y'all know I gotta say it. Feels so good in the hands, ladies, you know the procedures. Now, of course, it doesn't have the frosted glass finish. You're gonna get that regular glass, but depending on what color you get, you're not gonna really see the fingerprints too much. And one thing I'm never gonna complain about is a phone company coming out with a lot of different options, okay, a lot of different color choices. Y'all hear me griping all the time about phones coming out in green and black, you know, no lively colors. Not the case with this. You got a color for everybody, okay? And this purple right here, and you know, a little on the zesty side, but it is what it is, I like it. I love the design, simple and clean. Okay, this is a beast. Next, let's talk about the always on display. Samsung, in my opinion, makes the best always on display in the game. Now, if you see right here, that little picture of me looking like the supreme badass right there. But you got your notifications, time, date, battery percentage. I love it. Okay. Now, you can't really see it right now because I'm in the supreme brightness. But if I turn the lights down, this is one of the brightest always on displays that you're going to find. Next, let's talk about biometrics. Okay. Let's try to face unlock on this one. Now, I'm behind the camera. Let's see if I can get it to work. Okay, my now the face unlock, oh, there it is. Okay, there's, I got my glasses on too. Face unlock works pretty good on this. I will say though, the Samsung fingerprint sensor and face unlock, they're pretty good, way better than Google, but they're not up there with Oppo and Xiaomi. As much as I love Samsung phones, now of course on Galactus, the fingerprint sensor is a little bit faster, but this one, it works though. It works, no issues at all. It's just not the super tap like, you know, Xiaomi phones. You're just gonna have to press it and hold it. And the same thing with the face unlock. Let me see. You see, um, let me do that from, you see, I'm, I'm, I'm doing this from, I think my camera's getting in the way. But let's just say the face unlock does work. Okay, you see, it works way better than Google. Now, I'm not gonna make this into a, a Galaxy versus Google video, but I gotta mention these things, okay? Now, if you also notice, 
one of the things I love about it, you're gonna get all of the bells and whistles that you're gonna get on your Samsung phones, including the animated lock screens. You can get the animated always on displays. Okay, you're gonna get your edge panels. You see all of the different edge panels. But most importantly, if you swipe down, you got Samsung Dex. Now that was one of my gripes, remember with the S20 FE? Okay, you can't really call it a FE if you don't have all of the features the fans want. The only thing missing from this would be expandable memory. If this had expandable memory and a headphone jack, it would be the total fan edition. I think that's why they stopped saying FE because they know they can't deliver it like that. <laughs> it is what it is though. All right, so let's breeze through real quick. This is your Google homepage on one side, Android 13, all your updated widgets. Let's scroll through. Like I said, you got Samsung Dex. You got wireless charge and reverse wireless charge. Again, 600 bucks. Keep that in the back of your mind. That's $100 cheaper than the Google Pixel 8. $100 cheaper. And with the Pixel 8, you can't even move your Google bar. Okay? You can't even customize. You're always on display. You see? Look at that. You don't even have great biometrics. Now, I'm not gonna say the biometrics on this are great because they're really not. The biometrics on a scale of one to 10, I'd say, I'd give these about a seven. The fingerprint sensor, maybe eight. Okay, once you get the hang of it, you just gotta remember that it's not that. You gotta go, you know, just rest it. The face unlock could be better though. Face unlock could be better. <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is. All right, let's go through. Let's let's keep it moving. All right, so let's see any uh, to toggles we need to see. You got power saving mode, la, 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 la. smart view. Okay, so if you got all your Samsung monitors, go crazy. And of course, you can add more. So you got your live captions, contrast, multi control, Dolby Atmos. Okay, auto Shazam. Everything is there. All right, let's take it over to settings real quick now. This is a classic Galaxy phone. No need to go through all of the settings, but let's just go through some of the basics. Let's see, sound and vibration. Let's see, you got separate app for sound. This is one of the things that I love, okay? Separate app for sound. That means you, when you connect your phone to a Bluetooth speaker, when you're playing your music, <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me slow it down. When you're playing your music and you get an alert, it's not gonna interfere with your music, okay? You ever, you ever been in somebody's house and they're playing music and they're getting alerts and the music is going, you get bring. No, separate app for sound. You got sound quality and effects. Okay, so you do have Dolby Atmos, might as well turn that on. And of course, for my EQ, I like to do custom. This is just a phone, okay? So for custom EQ, I like to put everything to the top and get that maximum sound. Okay, let's go to display real quick. Okay, uh, display, here we go. Edge panels, okay, 120 hertz refresh rate. Now, like I said, I'm, I'm just, I'm trying to breeze through this part because y'all already seen all this stuff a thousand and one times. Now, themes, okay? Themes, you got all of your Samsung themes, all of the cool animated lock screens and wallpapers, everything is on deck. Okay, security and privacy, you got face unlock, fingerprint sensor, and smart lock. Okay, you got Samsung Pass, I use that also. Let's see, digital well-being, okay, advanced features, let's see what we got. Okay, let's see what the labs are. Multi-window for all apps, why not? Full screen and split view, why not? <laughs> okay, why not? Okay, swipe for pop-ups. Now, I don't like the pop-ups. I'll be getting too many notifications for that, but they're there if you need them. All right, motions and gestures. Lift to awake. Why not? Double tap to turn the screen on. Okay, look, look at shoes. <laughs> okay, palm swipe to capture. Y'all know that one right there. All right, hold on. see, shoes thought that was the cue. That's the palm swipe to capture. Let's see, anything else we need to see on that? No, that's pretty much it. Let's see, remote support. Okay, that's a little feature right there too. You get some remote help if you're on a novice status. Okay, you can optimize your battery. Bong just like that. Okay, and that's pretty much it. Is there anything else we need to see? Let's see, uh, lock screen and wallpapers. Nah. Nope, okay. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, you got your modes and routines. You know, do not disturb features. That's pretty much it. But let me tell y'all my experience with this phone. The battery life is great. Okay, the battery life is great. Remember, there's no Quad HD display. So that's gonna give you better battery life. It's not gonna be eaten into your, you know, because if you're using Quad HD display, it's gonna burn your battery. So the battery life on this I found was great. But I, I would say the best part about this phone is the camera. The camera really blew me away with this one. All right, the camera blew me away. Now I wanna show y'all something real quick. This is why I say, the processor is not the biggest deal. I'm gonna show you, a matter of fact, I'm gonna do a quick test for y'all, watch this. 
All right, so here's a real world browsing speed test. We got the A54, S23, S23 FE, S23 Plus, and the S23 Ultra. Watch this. Go to apple.com. Opening, Opening web page. Now you've seen it for yourself. Is that really worth 300 bucks for the difference in the processor? Now you can clearly see the difference in the brightness, okay? Here's the uh, S23 Plus and the fan edition. You do have a better display. Like it is a little bit more bright with the nits, but as far as the browsing speeds, exactly the same, okay? Exactly the same, definitely not worth 300 bucks. And of course, you got all of the bells and whistles, so I could do pop-up views, okay? I could put it to the side. Let's uh, add it to a little pop-up ball right there. We can open up Facebook. Okay, we could do some split-screen multitasking. We'll do split-screen. Okay, let's do Chrome on the bottom. Okay, look at this. Of course, we can switch them around, just like that. This is a flagship phone. And of course, with the edge panels, press one button, I got YouTube and the internet, just like that. Okay? Let me sign, let's sign into my TV by accident. This is a beast right here. All right, so now let's test out the dual stereo speakers. Of course, I got the official Flossy Carter sound test by my homeboy, Mark Rubier. Here we go. Yo, sound test, time for sound test. Everybody shut your mouth, time for sound test. Time to test that quality in the sound test. How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound now? How's it sound now? Does it sound big? Does it sound loud? How's the bass, baby? How's the treble on it? Look, let's cover up the bottom. This is just the top. Sounds great. Now, just for fun, here's the S23 Plus. Yo, sound test. Sound the speakers sound about the same. Everybody shut your mouth, time for sound Let's wait for that bass. Time to test that quality in the sound test. How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound, Floss? How's it sound now? How's it sound now? Does it sound big? You see, they sound the same. Nice clarity on these. You can feel the bass shaking. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Rubier. All right, so let's take a look at the display. Now here's the S23 Plus, S23 FE. Let's start them at the same time. Okay, now here's the Plus. And here's the fan edition. Let's go full screen. Let's see if we can see any difference. Again, a little bit brighter. Let's see the viewing angles. Definitely better viewing angles with those extra nits. But come on, $300 savings. Which I think, definitely better display with the plus. But $300 better? I gotta say no. I gotta say no. Maybe $150 better for sure. Let's keep it moving. All right, so now let's try a little gaming. Of course, we got Asphalt 9 queued up. Snapdragon 8 Generation 1 should be no problems. Here we go. All right. Your girl's shoes is in rare form today. <laughs> you know, that's what happens when I go on vacation. When I come back, shoes be trolling. Okay, here we go. Let's get focused, y'all. Let's get focused. 
Okay, let me get some of that nitro. Watch the drift, watch the drift. Fall back, fall back. I'm going for the ramp this time, y'all. I need that ramp, I need that ramp. Watch the landing, two wheel landing. Oh no, I'm losing, I'm losing. Look, he tried to get me for number one. There it is, now I can stop, now I can stop. All right, there it is. All right. Hold up, let's turn this down for a second. <laughs> Speakers sound great on this phone. Gaming, no issues at all. Of course, this is a Snapdragon 8 Generation 1. This is a flagship phone, bro. This is a flagship phone. Now, if I sound like I'm kind of hyped with this phone, it's because I am. And this just goes to show you that we overpaying for these phones nowadays. Other than the Bluetooth S Pen, I mean, of course, yeah, the display is a little bit better and all of that, but this is 600 bucks versus over a thousand, okay? This is 600 bucks versus 900 bucks. We're overpaying, okay? You don't have to spend 900 bucks for a flagship phone. This is a beast right here. All right, so now let's talk about one of my favorite features, the camera. This is a great camera on a $600 phone. Let's go through some of the different shooting modes. Okay, so you got portrait mode. Let's see if shoes want to cooperate right now. Shoes. Psst. Okay. Shoes trying to... Look, 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 look. This camera... Wait till you see the Hawaii shots, though. Okay? You got portrait mode, and you got different zoom length, uh, zoom length for your portrait mode. I like that. You got photos. You can do wide angle all the way up to 30 times zoom. That's pretty good. You got video. Now, video, 8K... Okay, 24 frames per second, or you can do your usual 4K, 60 frames per second from the front and on the back. And you got super steady. Now from video, you can zoom all the way up to 10 times. And of course you got more. So you got pro mode, you got pro video, you got night mode, food, panorama, super slow motion, regular slow motion, hyperlapse, portrait video. Okay, get that bokeh effect, cinematic mode. You got director's view and single take. Now, usually when I take my photos, I don't like taking photos of waterfalls and stuff that looks too beautiful because any camera you get, if you take a picture of a waterfall, you're not really looking at the photo. You're looking at the waterfall. It's going to look beautiful. But I happen to be in Hawaii. I, as a matter of fact, let me show you something real quick. I happen to be in Hawaii. So I did have to take some Hawaii photos. This was me early up in the gym. <laughs> if y'all wondering, like, why I'm so hyped right now, I literally was up in the gym a few minutes ago. All right, but look at these Hawaii shots, bro. Look at this. This is a, these are real photos I took with this camera. Now I'm gonna post some of them for y'all so you can see for yourself, but this camera right here really impressed me on a $600 phone. Take a look at these test pictures and videos for yourself.
Now, one of the best things about this phone is Samsung didn't go cheap, okay? They gave us Samsung DeX. You can use Samsung DeX from this phone. Now, let me show you how Samsung DeX works. All right, now let me show you how I use Samsung DeX. Now I'm gonna wirelessly connect to my TV and use the phone as a laptop, and I'll still be able to use the phone. So we're gonna scroll down. Let's turn on Samsung DeX. Hit start. Let it connect. And there it is. Now watch this. From the phone, I'm gonna use my phone as a trackpad. So now you see, scrolling around. Let's go to Samsung Internet. Just like that. Now here's some of the different tabs I had open. Say I wanna watch Apple TV. I can take it over to Apple TV and watch a movie, but from the phone, I can exit out and take it over to Instagram and start scrolling on Instagram, doing my thing. At any moment, I can go back, use the phone as a trackpad. Let's see, uh, let's see what's going on with OnePlus. Full website, completely wireless. Let's take it over to Amazon, do a little shopping. Now I can be shopping on the big screen, using the phone as a trackpad. I can watch a movie. And like I said, I can exit out and still completely use my phone. This is a major go. Now let's do the RDA test, regular daily activities. Now you decided to save some money and buy this phone for 600 bucks instead of buying the S23 Plus for 900 bucks. Let's see how it works in the real world. Now both of these phones do have wireless charge and reverse wireless charge. So when you wake up in the morning, you can see you're always on display. Look at that. There's your always on display, bright and colorful, customizable, notifications coming in in different colors, okay? Once you pick up the phone, you got face unlock and the fingerprint sensor. Now, the first thing I do, swipe over, let's go to the Google homepage, let's get a fresh refresh. And um, this is my first RDA test back from vacation, so let's see, there's a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff been going on since I was gone, <laughs> okay? Okay, so we got the RZA with some new stuff. Okay, they nerfed Cyrex and MK1, about time. The Google Pixel 8 Pro. I would call this the Pixel 8 Killer. Okay, not the 8 Pro, the Pixel 8 Killer. I would take this over a Pixel 8 any day of the week, easily. Even if it was just for the biometrics and the customization, I would do it, easily. Okay, let's see. Uh, Brooks lightest training shoes, okay. <laughs> What's coming to Amazon Prime? Who's, seen, who's watching Gen V? I missed the last episode. Okay, the NBA is back on YouTube. <laughs> yo, yo, YouTube TV. Yo, YouTube, y'all gotta calm down with the prices. YouTube TV, whoo, the price. Oh my God, they are wilding. Okay, 14 best Mary James. <laughs> Old school cats. Let's see, Xbox app. Okay, the Bose Quiet Comfort Ultras. Now, I just had a little scare when I was um, in Hawaii. I thought I lost my headphones. I just found them in the house. Come to find out, I didn't even bring them with me. I just found them just now. And on a side note, if it seems like I'm extra hype right now, I know somebody's gonna say, yo, Floss, Floss out here hitting them sniffles. Nah, I'm not, I'm not hitting the sniffles. I'm just happy to be back from vacation. I did get sick when I was in Hawaii, so I came back on Friday. I was in the bed Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, okay? And part of Tuesday. I'm, this is my first day back out of the bed, so I'm a little bit hyped. I went to the gym, I'm feeling good. It's not the sniffles. <laughs> I, I say no to drugs, bro. <laughs> I'll be on a natural high, man. Leave me alone. All right, let's see. Vivo X100 is about time. Okay, Vivo X100 dropping. Okay, so here's your Google homepage. Let's see. Uh, Bollywood War Epic. Okay. Okay, not too much stuff going down. Oh, the cases. Okay, now a lot of... I've been catching a lot of heat lately <laughs> for my case videos, but this is still my favorite case, the white shoes case. You know, it is what it is. <laughs> We're going to talk some shit about these cases in a minute. All right. Okay, anyway, so yeah, now y'all be complaining about the prices. Look at the price on this shit right here. Let's see the price on this art case. Matter of fact, let's see. Um, okay, did I catch a freeze? Okay, look, we caught a freeze. We caught a freeze. All right, look, see, this is why you gotta do RDA, regular daily activities. We caught a freeze just now. Hold up, now, let's go back to that. Let's go back to that. People be complaining about case prices. Oh, look, 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 look at this right here. Let's see the price on this case right here. Buy now. 
Okay, for the 15 Pro Max. Oh, $64, that ain't too bad. Oh yeah, I thought it was more. Yeah, 100 bucks. And it's not even just, a, it's not a, even a real case. It just covers the outside. <sighs> I don't know. For that, I'd rather get a bounce case. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, that's your Google homepage. Next, let's do a little work. Okay, so let's go to Gmail. Okay, now here's how your Gmail is going to look. Reply to some messages. Uh, let's see. Thanks, bruh. B-R-U-H. I like the correct spelling. Thanks, bruh. Okay, now if I want to, to do my work, we'll just open this up as a pop-up, and then we'll minimize it. Okay, we'll leave that on the side right there, just in case I got to do some work. Now, of course, you do have all your edge panels. I don't need to go through all of this stuff. Y'all know if I want to. Let's, as a matter of fact, let's do one real quick. See if I go to Instagram. Okay, let's see. Uh, <laughs> I like this little black cat right there. Matter of fact, I move the Gmail. All right, so matter of fact, so watch this. Watch this. I like this little black cat right there. So we'll go to rectangle. Do the little screenshot. Bang, and I'll keep that. If I want to, I can pin that. Exit out of that, or I could just share it. I'll save it like that or delete it. Okay. Now, if I want to remove, bang, there it is. At any moment, go back to my Gmails or keep it in the side like this. Okay. All right. So that's, um, I, 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 I use so many different phones. I got to remember the Xiaomi phones swipe. These don't. All right. So that's, um, that's the work segment of the day. Let's go over to Twitter now. <laughs> X. Then there's something like a little bone to pick right here. Okay, look. Now somebody try to call me out. This is um click the link in the bio. All right, who's this? Click the link in the bio. All right, Steven. Steven try to call me out because I said, remember this? When OnePlus comes out with their fold, it's basically gonna be a rebranded version of the Apple Find N2. Now he got he try to call me out, but basically the only reason it's not this is because it was delayed. So now that it get delayed, it's basically a rebranded version of the Apple Find N3. It's the same, okay? So don't try to come at me. I was definitely right, all right? Steven, all right? Fucking Steven. All right, let's see. Now, look. Now, th this is the thread I was reading earlier. This shit was kind of getting on my nerves, all right? Because this was a big thread. Somebody was saying that. Look, look, look at this. Hold up. Hold up. Let's, let, let's get to where somebody tried to drag me into this shit. Now, I'm not going to read all of this. But basically, somebody was saying, look, most of the YouTubers use iPhones. No YouTubers use Samsung phones. All right? Uh, Lord Dragon Force. I resent that, okay, because I'm not most YouTubers. And you got to remember, the days of daily driver phones is over. Don't nobody have a daily driver, okay? Especially tech YouTubers, nobody got a daily driver. Everybody's using more than one phone. And you shouldn't be watching tech reviews from somebody who only walks around with one phone. That means they're going to have a biased opinion. I walk around with a Galaxy and an iPhone at all times, and then whatever phone I'm testing. You're never gonna find me with one phone, okay? Somebody, like, oh yeah, so look, um, so everybody, they, look, they use the Samsung phones and then put them back on the shelf. That's 100% bullshit, okay? All right, Lord Dragon Force, don't be speaking for me out here, man. Speak for these other cats, not for me, bro. Because I use, I this is my main phone. The Galaxy is my main phone. The only reason you see me using iPhones is because I got a daughter who uses an iPhone. So I got to be monitoring her location. I got to be on FaceTime. My girl uses an iPhone. I got to be monitoring her location. I got to be on FaceTime. But if both of them said, you know what, I'm switching to Android phones, then I would just be using iPhones for fun. Okay, and that's really, really what I use them for, just for fun. Okay, I'm sorry, man. I had a little rant a little bit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right, let's see what's going down. Anything else? I get stuck in this long shit. Let's see. Let's see. Um... Gets mad love, even two-year-old tech videos are still most relevant. Okay, I respect that. Why not? Floss is my go-to guy for reviews. Okay, I, I appreciate that. Let's see. Um, what is this now? I get, I be getting caught up in some of these threads. Yo. Let's see. Um, what is this thread all about? Let's see. Um, I don't know what that is. I can't talk about. It. I don't know what it is. Now, you see, look. <laughs> I, I was catching a lot of hate. I was catching a lot of hate for these case to find cases, bro, man. My job is to just show y'all the cases. I'm not telling you to go and buy them. I got to show you the cases, okay? I've been showing y'all cases on YouTube for 15 fucking years, okay? You don't got to buy the cases. Just watch the goddamn video. <laughs> I was so out of it. <laughs> no, but keep it real. Those nothing cases is pretty cute. I mean, this is some nerd shit. If you're a real tech nerd and you walk around with an iPhone and an Android phone, this is a cute case. Now, 72 bucks, yeah, it's kind of high price, but... 
again, I don't make the prices, okay? I, I do not make the prices. I just report the uh, products. That's it. Okay, we got the Pixel 7. Feels so good in the hands, ladies. You know the procedures? Why not? Why not? And again, if I want to, I can exit out of that. We'll open up in the pop-up and then minimize it. Okay, so we'll just leave that on the side. So at any moment I want to come back to X, we can rock out. Next, let's take it over to Facebook. And now one of the biggest differences I noticed between this and the uh, S23 Plus is the display. It is a, it is way, not way brighter, but it's definitely brighter. Matter of fact, I'll show you. It's definitely brighter. Let's go to Facebook on both. Okay, let's go to Facebook on both. And we'll see now. Let's see if I'm on, if, if I'm even logged into this shit. Of course not. <laughs> of course not, but you already seen the, the sets earlier. Okay, now who are these cats? Who are these cats? All right. Uh, J Prince. All right. We got a J Prince sighting. Okay, here's how your Facebook is going to look. Diddy out here. You know, I, you know, I don't be celebrating Halloween, so I don't know what's going on on Halloween. You know what I'm saying? The sound box. Who's seen the sound box for video? You know what's funny? Soon as I did the sound box for video, and I'm like, yo, sound box is finally taking the title from Diamond Box. What does Diamond Box do? Drop a new Diamond Box speaker. And they hit me up like, yo, Floss, we just seen your Soundbox video. Okay, we'll give it to Soundbox. They might they might be the champ for the next couple of weeks. But wait till you see the new Diamond Box speaker. I'll show you when I take it over to Instagram. Okay, Matthew Perry. It's a little funny business with that little situation. I don't even, I don't know about that one. You know, drowning in the hot tub? I don't know, man. Could be some foul play, but maybe not. Look, uh, look what, Tracy, right? This is my old, my old high school nemesis. My old high school bully. I, I don't buy, yo. <laughs> he, used to be, he used to be bullying me back in the days, bro. But that's cool, though. That's cool. That's cool. I don't, I don't hold nothing against them. Anyway, here's how your face, people be asking me to do this speaker. Only the real ones remember when I reviewed this years ago, okay, when I reviewed the DVLA Phantom years ago, I didn't like the customer service because mine's blue, and that was, at the time, that was one of the most expensive products that I reviewed on YouTube that I bought out of my own pocket, and I didn't like the customer service, so, I don't know, I'm kind of staying away from that one. Okay, we got my man, okay, for Duck Down Music. Anyway, so here's, oh, somebody asked me to review the uh, Smart Tag 2, we're going to do that. All right, Smart Tag 2, coming up soon. And I got the fan edition or FE version of the tablet. S9, we're going to get into that too. Soundcore, I got some of these in the house. Anyway, okay. All right, anyway, so this is um, oh, the cute Halloween costumes, real nice. And like I said, at any moment, take it right back to Twitter. Okay, I could be doing Twitter and Facebook at the same time. We'll leave that open. All right, so that's it. That's Facebook. Next, let's take it over to TikTok. Now, for TikTok, we got to hit the volume. Okay, a little freestyle over the paint. Now, I don't know if y'all been watching the uh, drama going down with DJ Academics and Saucy Santana. <laughs> I don't really like none of these cats, but it's, a, it's, it's very, it's very interesting. Okay, so we got a new smartwatch. Look at Amaya. Look at look, look at Amaya. Look at Amaya. What's she out here doing? Let me go ahead and like this video. Amaya will. Okay, okay. Look at look at Amaya. Look at Amaya. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let me, I can't even watch those too much. I'm going to start getting emotional. All right, let's see. We got breakfast tacos. Okay. Now, look. Imagine if Samsung came out with this for the S24 with that screen on the back. Imagine if they came out with that. But we all know it's going to be this in the new color. <laughs> we all know that. And, you know, I know if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But come on. We, this, we had this from the 22, 23, now the 24. It's time for a redesign. Okay, Samsung, it's time for a redesign. We, you know, we time, we're getting kind of tired of this shit now. Okay, let's see what's going down. All right. This guy found out quick he wasn't playing. Okay, well, hold up. What's, we, we, it's about to be, let's see, hold up. Is this a skit or is this? Now, this is a skit. It's a skit. When you're getting too many camera angles, then it's a skit. It's a skit. And we see microphones. Yeah, I was ready. I thought somebody was about to get dropped. Yo, it's a skit. Okay, what is this? Ooh, the bumblebee? What is that, though? What, what is this? Whatever this is, I need it to match that bumblebee phone, yo. What is this? Oh, that's, oh, earbuds? Okay. Okay, you got my attention. Okay, see, now, right now, I hit the... Little screenshot, bang, come back to that later. Okay, let's see the TikTok ads. Now, look, imagine this. Imagine this. This is what this is what we're gonna see in the next couple of years. You know, because right now we kind of at a we kind of at a stale at a stalemate right now in the phone game. But we need to start seeing these foldable, rollable, slideable phones. I'm ready for that. Now, who's seen this fight? Who's seen this fight? I didn't watch it, but I watched the clips. 
and I heard through the grapevine that uh, this dude got robbed. Cause big oh oh big man went down though. My man Tyson Fury went down though. Ooh, you seen that? You seen that gut shot just now? I might have to go ahead and watch this uh, post. But um, what y'all think? Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think. I didn't see it though. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so here's how you let's see. Uh, here's how your TikTok is gonna look. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, okay. The, 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 what, 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 what is this? <laughs> Once he fall, what, he fell out. I thought they was gonna beat him. All right. Anyway. Okay. Now, see, this is um, this is what I like to see Logan Paul doing. All right, because you know he he's an entertainer and do do some entertainment. So that's why I, I like to see this. I like to see he 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 definitely found his uh his uh calling right here with the wrestling. Definitely this over the boxing. I think both of the brothers need to go into WWF here. That's just my personal opinion. Anyway, so here's how your TikTok is going to look. Oh, what's that? Look at that view. Oh, look, 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 oh, look. This is, I was about to say, look at that view. I thought, I think, this is on my, my, girl's Insta, uh, my girl's TikTok. Yeah, man, this is how we was doing it. That, that's me. I was about to say, look at that view. That, I, I remember them shrimps. I re of course, I remember them shrimps, you fat ass. All right, anyway, that's how your TikTok is going to look. Let's take it over to Instagram. Okay, I love this cat right here. <laughs> Those little memes right there. All right, let's see what's going down. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead, let's go ahead and refresh. Okay, let's go ahead and refresh. Okay, everybody got the Halloween costumes out. You know, it's good. You know, I purposely didn't uh, go on Instagram yesterday because I wasn't feeling well. But um, it is what it is. Okay, let's see. Look at Tracks NYC. All right, what he got up in the safe? I'm about to go hit that safe real quick. You know what I'm saying? You know, people be thinking that me and Trax is friends. I'm just, I'm just pretending to be friends so I can hit that safe. One of these days, I'm gonna be like, yo, let me, let me use the bathroom real quick, and I'm hitting that safe. All right, shoes, come on, bro. <laughs> anyway, I'm just kidding. Trax is my guy. Shout out to Max. Okay. All right. Let's see. All right. Anything going down on this sound box? Oh, matter of fact, I was, I, matter of fact, we'll wait. No reason to even um take it to the diamond box just yet. Okay, my man, King Jules, right here. All right, another one of the uh, tracks, NYC. All right, everybody outside looking good. Okay, I respect that. Let's see, anything else? Uh, let's see, did we see any weird Halloween costumes? Oh, somebody getting, imagine you getting an iPhone for Halloween. Yo, you just giving out iPhones? Oh, this is Mr. Beast giving out iPhones instead of candy? I respect, oh, and giving out bread? Let me find out I gotta get a Halloween costume. Now, this is what I want, chapstick. You know, black people love chapstick. Yeah, what the fuck is wrong with this? All right. Okay, so this is a... Oh, oh look, at my, look at Calvin. This is my, I mean, Calvin, I mean, Calico. This is my man, Calico. All right, look at, look at Calico right here. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Calico and Keanu, yo. Two, two of my favorite uh, subscribers right here. Let's see what's going down at CNN. Okay. DoorDash warns users of delayed delivery times as we're not tipping on your drivers. I always tip my DoorDash drivers because I don't want the extra sauce, if you know what I'm talking about. You don't want that extra sauce. <laughs> you better tip them if you don't want that sauce. All right, anyway, look at my man Mel. He, 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 see what I'm saying? Me and Mel, man, we so old school, man. This is how we pose in pictures. <laughs> this is how you know. This is just the unk. This is the unk pose. Yo. This is how you know you're getting old when people start calling you unk and you start posing like this in photos. Then you want unk status, yeah. All right, let's, let's, let's go to Hollywood Unlocked and see that we miss anything. All right, let's see. Uh, Mariah Carey says it's time. Time for what? Oh, she's about to drop a new album. Okay. Now, look, this is what I wanted to see. Let's, let's just roll through Hollywood Unlock. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Y'all need to see this. Y'all need to see this. Y'all need to Y'all need to get it down. Hold on. What's, what's this? Um, Suki. ASAP <laughs> Rocky and um, let's see. Okay. Uh, French Montana. Yeah. I, okay, so I'm, I'm missing out on... Look, 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 look at the pretty boy Drake. You know what I'm saying? Where's the saucy Santana beef? Hold on. Where, where, where is it? Where is it? Y'all need, need to see this. Hold on. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, do you, who, who see the beef going down with um Kodak Black and Ray J? Kodak Black and Ray J, they, they kind of at each other's necks right now. Let me see. Where's the... <laughs> this, is the this is the main beef that y'all need to check out, though. The Saucy Santana and DJ Academics. <laughs> Real, I, 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 we got to talk about this later. Anyway, let's see. Let's, uh, I got all these apps open in the background. Hit one button, close them all up. 
RDA, regular daily activities, you could easily spend 600 bucks on this phone and use it as your flagship phone. There's your wireless charge and reverse wireless charge. Anyway, let's get and wrap this video up. All right, so overall, on a scale of one to 10, I'm giving the Samsung Galaxy S23 FE a major, major, major go. And at 600 bucks, as Bob Barker would say, the price is right. The only thing missing to make this a true fan edition would have been expandable memory and a headphone jack. Other than that, this phone checks all of the boxes. The build quality is excellent. You got Gorilla Glass 5 on the front and on the back with the aluminum frame. The display is great. The battery life is great. The speakers sound great. The process is excellent. The camera's terrific. You got all of the bells and whistles, wireless charge, reverse wireless charge, Samsung DeX. Okay, you got your edge panels, pop-up windows, full customization, all your animated lock screens, and all your different wallpaper themes. This is a certified beast for 600 bucks. Personally, I would buy this over the Galaxy S23 Plus, take that extra 300 bucks, and buy yourself a Galaxy Watch, and you're good to go. Anyway, Galaxy S23 FE, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. And we got the uh, S9 FE tablet coming up next. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, stream dancers on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat was left. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and pitch and roll. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuce. Spot one to be up. guys, Jerry Springer here. Uh, subscribe to Flossie Carter for the real reviews. Uh, he has a tech channel on YouTube, and he already has over 2 million subscribers, so uh, give him a look. Uh, you may like it, and it could be very useful. Take care of yourself and each other. <laughs>